Hey there, Adam here. Today I want to show you how to archive pages in Notion. So, the name of the game is The Trash Can is a Lie. So what do I mean by that? The delete button is actually the archive button in Notion. They don't want you to permanently delete stuff unless you really, truly, truly, truly want to permanently delete it. So the trash can itself is not a trash can. You'll even see it says restore deleted pages. The trash can, as mentioned in the documentation, is actually your archive. So to archive something, you're going to click on the three dots and just hit delete. And it's going to disappear. And now it takes a second. Let me just refresh the page. Give it a second. And if you check, check the trash can, it really does take a second. Let's, let's, uh, let's pause momentarily. Let it think for a second. Refresh one more time. And we should see it. How to archive a notion. Here it is. This page is in the trash. So you have the option to restore it. So, you know, the archive type feature. Or you can delete it permanently and then it really is truly gone. So just click on restore page and now it's right back to where you left it. So the other option, of course, is go into your trash can. Click on one of the items. You're like, I really don't want this anymore. You can hit delete permanently. And it wants you to be 100% certain that you want it to go away, and it will actually delete it. So that's how you archive things. The, the trash button, the delete button, is actually your archive. You can sort of search through it. Uh, it's You can filter by page titles. It's not great to search through. It's not really supposed to be good to search through. That's sort of the point. Uh, it's just a, purely an archive. Uh, so if you really don't want it popping up in your search anymore, click delete. And if you really need to find it again, it'll be there for you. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.